Hello, hi. You're going to have to excuse the nips. I, yeah, just had a baby. Um, I'm gonna do a quick little what's in my bag for my diaper bag because I've been meaning to do this and my baby was already born. She's a little over a week old now and we've already been out and about. I've used this every day and I'm so glad. I've been using this style of bag for almost five years or so when my first son was born. It's Miss Fong, so it's like a common style made popular by Fawn Design, which are just beautiful bags, but Miss Fong offers them at a little bit more of an affordable price and in my opinion, offers more quality, more features. Um, they don't have maybe as many colors or even some products you know they don't they're not the same company they just are similar but i have had nothing but a but a wonderful experience with miss fong in all these years i've given so many as gifts um i've used the large size this is the mini and this is one of their newer styles i was so excited to get this as a gift um it's pink with rose gold normally i just like gold but the rose gold looks super cute and having a girl, I've just really been able to indulge in all the girly, like, pink stuff that I'm already all about. So, anyways, let me just show the bag real quick and then I'll get into what's inside. It's a backpack and a crossbody. So, this strap will, you know, expand pretty long. But I keep it real short. That way it's close to my body. I'm also not even 5'3", so that's why. It has um, that half circle zipper that's really convenient for opening you know like one-handed the bag doesn't move around i do wish it had two zippers like the larger size but it just has one and it's not a problem it has a front zipper the older versions had mini zippers here on the sides too they did away with them because you couldn't really fit anything in but i liked them because i used to put my hair ties and like coins and stuff no biggie um it also has a back large pocket with a magnetic snap that's very secure and it goes pretty deep I think you could fit like a tablet in here maybe don't hold me to what size and then another zipper for easy access to I don't know wipes or I put my key in there sometimes so when I'm in the car walking to the car I can just one-handedly like grab it unlock or like pop the trunk super easy and these are some of their new clasps or like the D actually I don't know what these are called these are not the D rings anymore this would be the D ring right straight with D um let me just grab my other one to compare this one I've had forever the zipper busted and I still made it work and when I say Miss Fong is awesome they really are awesome because I let them know about my zipper and in the past they replaced my entire bag and um, I also received I haven't put it on yet but they gave me new zipper pulls you know so it won't in case it happens again and they're new zipper pulls this is you know actually this is an old one but it's an older new one see it has this style of clips the interior is brown. It used to be gray. I would show you my other bags, but we don't have time for that. I've had this in black. I've had um, the green. It's the same exact layout. <clears throat> and it's super soft, especially over time. The leather like gets really mushy and nice, buttery. Okay, and then it has these seat belt backpack straps that attach at the bottom. You can also tuck them away if you want to and just use it as a crossbody. The top handle that they added also tucks in. So overall really cute and comfortable. I think it expands pretty long. Like I've seen that taller people use this and appreciate that long strap for the backpack there's no it doesn't feel like it's digging into your skin or anything at least not for me it's very comfortable i wear it all the time 
it distributes the weight pretty evenly. Okay, so in the bag, what I love most about Miss Fong is I can always stuff more on top of what I pack. Like I always say I could fit like a little Nissan in here, like a little sedan or something, because it just, you, you could just keep piling stuff in. And that's what I like, you know, if I'm out and I get something or, you know, I just want to be able to shove it in my bag. Okay, so that's obviously a passy. So my daughter's swaddle, just a blanket that I keep. I threw some snacks on top because when I'm out, like, I get hungry. Nuts, some dry fruit. Mm, inside, there's a back pocket that has a zipper. There are two side pockets. One of them's insulated where I keep a bottle of water or another drink in a straw. So you can see it's insulated. Maybe you can see, but when I take everything out. In the very back pocket, I keep my planner. So the bulk of this bag is my planner and I'm okay with that because I don't always need this. I always have it with me almost, but I don't necessarily need it. So if I needed to fit something else for my other kids, I would be able to, I would have plenty of room. You can see, I'm really not taking up a lot. And my daughter's very young. She doesn't need much, especially considering um, that I'm breastfeeding her. So I don't have to put bottles in there yet, but if I did, I would have plenty of room. Um, this is an extra passy that I've just kind of clipped in here because you never know. And then I have my mommy bag. So this is my purse. And this was, I kept this in my other bags before she was born anyway. I used to use a little backpack and um, this in and out. This is like my favorite mom hack that I learned because you don't always need the whole thing, but sometimes it's nice to just have it with you. So I tuck that into the main compartment and then you can kind of get a better idea of the pockets. Here's that insulated pocket. And the big version has two pockets that are insulated, which is nice. The mini just has one. Poor girl, my hair is everywhere. And then on the other pocket, I just have some little essentials for her. I have like an extra outfit. I have this brush because I'm obsessed with brushing her little hair. I just have a onesie, socks, an extra little headband. And that's kind of tucked into this pocket on the side which you can't see. What am I doing? I'm going to put it back because we're about to go out. And then I also keep in one of these pockets that is zipped. This is like always been my mommy pocket. I used to keep um, a hairbrush, dry shampoo, whatever else I needed. And for now, I just have two wipe or what are these called? Pads because, you know, postpartum still need them. Um, I also have a wet bag. This is just um, some basic little, I don't know the brand of this, um, a, a little bag that you can put, you know, soiled clothes in or it's helpful even with the other kids, like when we're out, um, if there's a spill or something, we just need to take it home to wash. I just kind of bundle it up. Sometimes I just throw it in the bottom. And again, that, that extra size comes in handy the extra space because this will bulk up. Like when I use um, cloth diapers, this is where they're gonna go. But she's obviously, she's too small for that right now. She's maybe seven pounds. Um, and I have a little random cloth, like I guess this is a burp cloth. I use it like if I need to lay her down and change her or just don't want her on anything dirty. And I have that kind of tucked into the same pocket. It doesn't fit so great. I don't know what I'm doing over here. I should just put the wet bag on the bottom like I had it. And then in the very front pocket, so there's two. There's one with a zipper, and then there's one wide one that's as long as the front is. I don't have anything in there currently. And then in the zipper, I just have a couple of newborn diapers. So these are teeny tiny. She would be swimming in all of the cloth diapers that I have for her. So it's nice for now that I can just toss them, uh, but eventually I'll be able to wash them. And that's what I did with my son. He's four now. And we had 
success with that. It went really well. So then in the very back with the snap, I have one, one diaper. Everything's a wipe. I just want to call everything a wipe. One diaper and then some actual wipes. Um, these, since they're in a very small container, I have a specific type that I like to use. They're just the like 80 cents plain Target ones. They're unscented and they are not layered into each other. So when you pull them, they're not like accordion, like one will come out at a time. And when I'm on the go and I just have one hand maybe, like that's nice. I don't want, I hate pulling out 15 at a time. Like buy one, get 14. Um, and then at home we use the water wipes when we can. Those are the ones that I like the most because I just like how much water they have. So it's it feels easier to clean with. The last thing I have in here is a scrunchie for me, but also sometimes I'll just throw it in her car seat like so she can smell me. And I did wash it because God knows it was time. Okay, and then um, I'll just quickly show what's in my little purse. It's kind of a wreck. I'm, I'm not surprised. <laughs> what's nice about this, um, it's a vintage, Dooney and Burke. It's just a little purse that I found from someone on Mercari. Um, I like Dooney and Burke because it reminds me of my mom. She she had tons of purses um, throughout my life. She had all like Coach and you know it was 2006 and Dooney and Burke, Coach. Um, I think she had like maybe one Louis Vuitton, but she was all about um, you know Tory Burch. I feel like there's another designer that I can't think of. Anyways, um, this is like the perfect size and it's super cute. This strap didn't come with it. This is actually a Miss Fong strap from another bag I have, um, the Peace and Love mini backpack. I'll link these down below because I highly recommend all of them. That one, I used to even carry my laptop in and I kind of busted it. So I had an extra strap and it fits, matches perfectly. Okay, so in here I have kind of just tossed random things that I need. There is a strap in here, just like in the big bag, which is helpful. I usually will keep my car fob on there, but um, sometimes it gets taken out of my purse. I like to just be able to get in the car and it'll start. Um, and then, you know, house key. Um, what's nice about this bag is it has a built-in card slot thing there's no zipper but um i can put i put like my debit and my id i have more than one debit card so in my actual planner i have like a backup debit card and then in here i have one that i can just grab i also have a bunch of lip products and oils i have this is a spray with just essential oils probably patchouli orange lavender and or eucalyptus, something like that. Just something that smells, you know, fresh and nice. This is a roll-on that I'll use, sort of like perfume. Oh, this one is orange. This is definitely orange and um, lavender. It smells so good. And I also have lotion, like hand lotion, shea butter, something. Sandalwood. What is sandalwood? Is that just wood? And then this from, man, I used to use this in high school. This is from Bath and Body Works. It's just like a menthol um, lip gloss and it smells so good. It layers well. It's not sticky. Oh, it smells so good. I have been using this since, seriously, since I had disposable income. I was buying these. They were like maybe eight bucks, but I used to just buy a bunch of them. I think there was like buy two, get one free or buy four, get one free, something like that. And I used to do it all the time. And then here I have a little lipstick case with a mirror, a random eyebrow pencil. Don't know where it came from. I've been trying to find it because I thought maybe it was from um, a dollar store, but it wasn't. I have no idea where it came from and I'll be sad when it runs out because it's so easy to just really quickly like fill in my eyebrows. And then this is a terribly used um, 
um, tinted lip balm by Honest Beauty, which I've also been using for years. So a lot of this is not new, just things that I've kind of kept up and um, I've come to count on them. Like as a mom, these things really make my life easier. These are my headphones. I don't know where my little case is. I used to have a case for them. Well, they're just thrown in here for now. I have $20 cash and an eyelash curler. This is, this I did get from the Dollar Tree. I thought it was so cute. And basically you just squeeze it. Super adorable. So that will go right back in. I did notice that I was missing a bag. Not necessarily missing a bag, but um, before, before I started using the diaper bag all the time, I kept like a toiletry bag. And once we took it to the hospital, I never unpacked it. So this is it. It's too big right now because I used it for the hospital, but um, I may put it, put some of these back into a smaller bag and carry them with me because uh, I need them. <laughs> so I have a hairbrush. These are actually, yeah, we're gonna put these back today. Hairbrush, battery pack, charger, my favorite lipstick, which is Well People. Well People. Um, in Let It Go. A similar shade would be Namaste. And those are really nice basic nudes. I've got floss, my favorite floss. It is Cocoa Floss. I found this at Target and then I reordered mini versions on Amazon because uh, there was like a variety pack. And I got to try a few different flavors. Um, deodorant, really good brand. Smells amazing, doesn't wear off. Don't need this so much anymore, it's a purse clip. I have post-its, um, a hand sanitizer. I will probably, scrunchie, I will probably keep this like this and just have it as of my backup. And then I've just got some random makeup products. So you can see I'm all about the drugstore, whatever I find at Target type of makeup. This is ELF or ELF. I don't really do a lot of makeup. I like, I wish I knew how to do it really nice, but all I can do basically is like smudge a little glitter on top and then I'm good. And I do really love this eyeliner it reminds me of the tattoo the cap on d one i tried it and i like this one i think it might be only 10 bucks random mascara that i need to replace like i need to get a really higher quality mascara i'm sure if i even remember to wear it like that's just not where my head's at right now and that's okay so i haven't missed any of this in my purse except probably these things so i'm gonna put them back and i'll just actually put them in that mommy pocket so i'll put the deodorant in there and my brush and zip it up and then in the front this is kind of where my lip stuff goes oh i also have some gum in here this is an extra let me tell you about this gum okay i got this gum i didn't care for this gum pep in peppermint and then I read a bunch of reviews and I decided to try this because it's, it is a very clean gum. Like the ingredients are so minimal and I actually like this flavor. So it's terrible because the texture, like it will fall apart if you chew it for too long, but also it's kind of awesome because it doesn't do that thing that regular gum does where it like gets all weird texture. I mean, almost like plasticky to where you have to spit it out or like gives you a headache to chew it. And the flavor goes relatively quickly, but this flavor particularly has like a lingering, almost like a peppery or like a spicy flavor to it. And again, doesn't get all plasticky. So it's more of an enjoyable experience. So if you want to try this gum, I would say approach with caution and expect the unexpected. Yeah, but I got it again. So it's prickly pear grapefruit with cayenne pepper and sea salt. It's pretty good. I wouldn't recommend the peppermint one at all. So I've got gum. This is where I'll put my 
lipstick and also I'm gonna open I got a new one a new um lip balm this is that honest and plum been using it for years we'll never stop buying it so this is what it looks like new <laughs> and not all messed up and that's where I like to keep it so lip lip um floss and then this chapstick this is an extra for my honey because he always wants chapstick and I don't know how this got all the way over there I also keep peppermint like if I get a headache or feel nauseous super helpful to have and I'm stuffing it pretty tight in here but I think that's it yep and then normally my phone will go here and it's really easy to grab, you know. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put my food back in here and my water. The reason this water is so hard to get in is because of this rubber, like wrap around band. It definitely resists the material. Okay, so that's it. That's everything. If I, oh, there's my hat. If I wanted, I could even put my hat in there. So you can see that it doesn't lose its shape or structure or anything. Even when it's empty, it looks, it looks nice. And that's it. It's super stuffed. It doesn't have to be though. Remember, Big Bertha is back here in my planner. Um, that's, yeah, that's everything. I will try to leave links for the stuff that I mentioned because a lot of them are have become staples for me as a mom. And this bag you can find either on Miss Fong's website or on Amazon. It's the mini version. And I love it. It is so sturdy. Also, it will last years and years and hardly show any signs of wear. Like, you have my word on that. Miss Fong knows what they're doing. And they really do care about the the guests or like the customers. So they have great, um, very reputable customer service. Uh, also this scrunchie, if anyone's curious, because I would love to plug them, they're just just as awesome. So small business, XXL and Co. Um, they do scrunchies, other, um, they have other merch that they're working on also, but it started with a graphic artist named Tina and um, She's built it from the ground up, working with her family. It all started like in her studio apartment and now they have an actual big like warehouse, like a business that they're they're going hardcore. And I, I, I really love this one. I got it as a gift. So it's huge, as you can see. This is like the perfect accessory because it'll make something super basic like a TikTok dress. Actually, you look fabulous. I'm gonna keep it on my hands. Okay, um, thank you for watching. I know I'm a little bit all over the place when I talk about anything, but um, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, let me know because I will, I'm always ready to talk about Miss Fong bags or just being a mom. Okay, hope y'all have a good day. Bye-bye.